Hello everybody, I'm Landa, aka Creative Mommy of Two, and today I have a finish for you. As you see, I have this beauty finished. This is Rainbow Reflections by Deborah Malcolm, and it is from Diamond Art Club. This is the original picture, and this is the diamond painting. This one went really quickly but it is a lot of color blocking and it is round so even though for me squares go faster but that's most likely because i have done more squares by now but um this is in size a 64 by 51 centimeters and as i said it is round i started this diamond painting on the 2nd of august and I finished it the 12th of August. And I believe of those days I didn't work on this one for three days. So two or three. So in a little over a week I had it finished. Which is pretty quickly for me. Because, yeah. I normally have just two, three hours a day that I diamond paint. So, yeah. It went quickly and it also has a lot a lot of color blocking and a whole lot of ABs so I'm going to show you this color that I'm pointing at right here this stripe here everywhere you see that color so this stripe that stripe that stripe that one down here a bit that's all AB it's blue AB I want to say that is that it is the biggest color I had in quantity, so it had a lot of ABs. Then also this green stripes here, this AB, this green here, this orange here, and it had a tiny bit of white down here, down here, a little bit on these mountains. So the white oh, there was just a few, but the blue. I'm going to show you. Closer up, let's grab around my camera. As you see, it shines like crazy. I think you can see which one are the ABs because they sparkle a lot more. And also you can see the symbols underneath them. So you can see my multi-placing is everything but good, but oh well. Here we come in the colorful section again spot the ABs <laughs> oh yeah we hide a lighter AB as well here we have the green and the blue AB right next to each other oh, uh, come on move along here this was a lighter blue and a green and a really light green and this was the orange oh, yeah and this is just a piece of tea itty bitty white just like there well sorry bum jump I'm fiddling a little bit around the camera but especially the sky was a lot of color blocking and here the water the trees at the side uh, were a bit more confetti heavy, but still, I could use my multiplacer most of the time. So I mostly multiplaced this, even when I just needed to pick up two or three or so. And I just use a four placer. So this is everything I have in trash. Many of it is AB with the coating on the back. I don't know if you can see it pretty good, but. Let's see, I don't think so. So yeah, a few are actual pieces of trash. Black had some with holes in it, as I think you can see. The dark blue, many of them. Let's see if I can stick some on my fingers. Um, of course, that pile doesn't have one.
Every time you are looking for a specific problem, you can find them. No, I can't find them now, but I had from the ABs, I had a few that had um, the AB coating on the back. So, yeah, then I would have a regular drill on the front. So, those I picked out, obviously. And, yeah, I'm also going to show you the leftover drills. Here is my entire... And as you see, I use the Elizabeth Ward container system type stuff. And yeah. This is the AB, the blue eyes, which I said. This entire thing was completely filled. Like literally to the brim. So yeah, that I think that says a lot about the size. Because this is the, not the biggest, but the one after that. So, yeah. <laughs> and the other four, five ABs. So it had six ABs in total. And the other five are, <laughs> <laughs> are just flying across the room. I'm clumsy. So, yeah. In case you didn't know, you know it now. So these are the others. I believe this one is 134, 132, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 132. This one is 135, 138, and 141, which is beautiful white. And the big dark blue was 136. So yeah, all in all, I don't like color blocking. I'm more of a confetti kind of girl. But because it has such fun colors, I really love this one. So yeah, it was... As I said multiple times by now, it was a lot, a lot of color blocking for my taste. But, yeah, you work in a, a nice array, array of color. I started top left, gone to the right, got back down, got to the left back. So my color switched a little bit around. I could do row per row, but oh well. <laughs> So yeah, you had a nice switching in colors. Yes, this was a lot of the same color, but also the stripes were bigger, so they did go faster. So I went quicker through them. So I had quicker, the nice selection of colors that I have here. So yeah, but if you love color blocking, this for sure is the image you could love to do in case you also like the artwork. And yeah, I just love how this one turned out. And also if you're an AB lover, I think this one's for you. <laughs> so in case you love rounds, uh, ABs and color blocking, I think you should look into this image. I will link it down in the description box in case you directly want to go to Diamond Dark Club and see if it's still available and snag it. Just FYI, at least at this point, I have no affiliate ship with Diamond Dark Club. I just link it for you to find. So, yeah. You other otherwise can also just go to the Diamond Dark Club website and look it up there. So you can either look up Rainbow Reflections or Deborah Malcolm. And yeah, I love it. As always, the symbols were good. The sticky of the canvas was amazing. I think, did I have any symbols that I have an issue with? Let's see, let's see. What was the list again? No, I don't think I had. Yeah, I had a somewhat of an issue. The N and the M. They were pretty similar in color on the canvas, as you can see here. With them being a bit smaller, 
at times they were a little bit harder to look if the glare on my canvas was a bit much but it was still okay but it might be something you need to look out for but the rest I believe even the F and the E were not too similar so yeah I highly recommend this one so yeah I'm going to leave it with this because yeah I can swoon about this one a lot longer but I don't think you would appreciate it so <laughs> if you like this video as always, you know the drill, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!